So as you can see, the stain on this saddle is pretty bad. It goes all the way across the cover. Um, I don't know what it is. Could I suppose it could be water. Uh, but I don't know what that is really. And I, I have my doubts so that I can remove it. And it's so, it's so bad that it's covered the markings on this side, the stamp of uh, EDL, which you can just about see it on this side. It says EDL 92. Um, so I'm going to use these, uh, what they call in French, lingettes, which are basically tissues or wipes for uh, using on like leather sofas and leather chairs and shoes and stuff. And um, I'm just gonna try this first. Uh, very cheap, it's only three euro, so I thought I'd try that. So I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. Um, but I don't see there's any one particular method that people think is going to work anyway for leather of this type of problem and everyone's got different opinions so I'm going to just try, try and use this and see what it does to the saddle. Well, after two or three goes with the cleaning tissues, uh, I heated it to open the pores up of the uh, leather and I did it again. It's worked out pretty well, as you can see. It looks much better than it did. And the whole saddle has turned to a darker color, which hides the um, original stain. You can still see it and the edges of it here and here but generally I, I think it's done a pretty good job and in fact I can see the um, EDL logo now on this side much more clearly and uh, that worked better than I thought so uh, that's really improved it and now I can replace it on the bike and it will make the bike look much better than it was Well, I found this uh, Kiwi Shine and Nourish Cream and I thought I'd give this a go as well. I don't really know whether this is going to um, really enhance it, but it says it uh, revives and preserves the um, leather. And it's quite a simple thing to do. It says you just put it on like this. So I'm going to give this a go just as a final like layer of uh, preservation and also see if it makes any difference with the final effect of uh, bringing this saddle back to life. Uh, you can choose different colours and this one is uh, for brown. So I just hope also this is going to work. Uh, really, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, it's all a bit of experimentation to me. But so far it's worked okay. <laughs> and I just do this and then wipe it down after 10 minutes.
So after using this cream, um, which darkened the saddle, it looks really good. I mean, I, I think uh, it's definitely much darker than it was, but it looks better for it. And the stain really isn't visible now in, in many lights, so you can just about see it in some form if you look really closely. But generally, I think the saddle looks uh, superb now. It's uh, really rejuvenated it and um, made a huge difference to it. I'm really pleased with it and um, it just adds value to the saddle and for, to the bike. One thing I thought I'd try is I didn't want this to cause any, um, you know, browning of like, if I sit on it for a, an hour, I didn't want it to like end up having it coming off. Uh, but as you can see, it's fine. It doesn't come off. So... Yeah, I'm really uh, pleased with that. It's a good result. All you need to do, I think, with an old saddle is not give up on it. And uh, with just basic, you know, basic care, using creams and cleaners, you can get it back to it, a really good condition. And I think that many saddles um, are probably not taken care of enough especially these Brooks and EVL ones. So, yeah, good result.